Welcome to the 2015 BLS Guideline Changes. In this video, we will discuss the recent BLS Guideline Changes. The first change is in the rate of chest compressions. In 2010, it was at least 100 compressions per minute, and the 2015 update is 100 to 120 compressions per minute. The range of 100 to 120 compressions per minute leads to a decrease in cardiac output due to incomplete cardiac filling during chest recoil. The second change is in the depth of chest compressions. The 2015 update states the target depth for adult compressions to be 2 to 2.4 inches, which is 5 to 6 centimeters. Research revealed that compressions delivered beyond this depth could result in resuscitation-related injuries. In real-life resuscitations, rescuers are likely to provide compressions that are too slow, too shallow, and interrupted too often. With frequent refresher training for skills and knowledge, and a detailed feedback on rate and depth of compressions, will help develop and upkeep good technique. The 2010 sequence change from Airway Breathing Compressions, or ABC, to Compressions Airway Breathing, or CAB, remains in the 2015 update. The early initiation of chest compressions resulted in improved outcomes. The ratio for traditional CPR cycles of chest compressions to rescue breaths remains the same in the 2015 update. 30 chest compressions to 2 rescue breaths for 1 rescuer CPR in all age groups and for 2 rescuer CPR in adults, and 15 chest compressions to 2 rescue breaths for 2 rescuer CPR in children and infants. It points out that high quality chest compressions are most valuable in saving a life. The members of the community should know that even if they don't know how to do anything else, Doing chest compressions is better than not doing anything at all. Most people should have access to a speakerphone-equipped cell phone that they can use to call 911 or have a bystander call for the rescuer. And the EMS dispatchers can instruct the rescuer to do hands-only CPR. For further details on 2015 guideline changes for BLS, please refer to the full text manual provided with your BLS package. This concludes our lesson on 2015 BLS Guideline Changes. Next, we will review One Rescuer BLS and CPR for Adults.